Hey, how's it going? So we're here. I wanted to start this video like my other videos, but I think it's honestly fitting to not and be scared. So here we are. Level five. Alright, since we reached level five, now level three is unlocked as a checkpoint. Which I mean it's incredible. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. We're on level five. This is level five. I mean we're we're in okay shape, right? I mean we have pretty good stuff. We have really good things, to be honest. Like the teleport is fantastic. Uh, we have a plate. A large tube that I still don't know what we can do with it. But the thing is that the if I find material for another piece of plate, then I can for sure just make armor. Oh my god. Oh no 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 no. Oh they're gonna kill me. They're gonna kill me. No! Well, I have to teleport. Oh my god. Did you see what just happened to me? I can't believe it. I can't freaking believe this. I can't believe this shit. I can't believe it. Um, hold on. So that's what I'm talking about. We're gonna take this room by room. Very, very, very slowly. We're gonna go very, very slowly. Okay. My teleport's gone. My teleport's already gone. I hadn't even stepped outside this room. What's <sighs> okay? All right. What do we need? So I'm gonna just have the rifle in hand uh, because these guys will kill me. Like hitting me twice, I'll go down. Room by room. Okay. 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 Room by room. No rush. What did I pick up? Machine gun ammo. All right. Well, let's let's put it in in this one. My double barrel. Put it up here. I'll move the shotgun down, which I don't know if it's going to be a good idea or not. Actually, you know what? Shotgun up there. There we go. All right. Okay. Stay away from doors. Let's see what this computer says. Poison Gardens number six. Note by the Biology Administration AI protocol. The plastic death tree has grown its roots through the outer layer of facility armor and thus breached the biological isolation barrier. The tree roots themselves currently block the entrance of any potential deadly microorganisms, but this breach of security must be neutralized as soon as possible. If a herd of Medusa 1C native amoebas were to discover the set of roots, they could possibly enter the facility. And I think they have. And I'm scared to death. Ugh, we're never we're not gonna press this button right now. Okay? We're not gonna press it right now. We're gonna wait. Until we've done the entire freaking floor, and then maybe we'll press that button. I see you. Alright, we can't afford taking any hits, okay? We're gonna use everything in our disposal to ensure survival and safety from all sorts of things like this motherfucker over here. Oh my god! Fuck off! <sighs> okay. He might get up. He may not be dead yet. So we're not gonna just take it lightly. Oh shit. I'm not messing about. Show yourself. Okay. 
All right. Okay. Brain cloning experiments? Okay, <laughs> what? Militech, did, Militech is actively making the world a smarter place by cloning faster and larger brains to be used as bio, bioprocessors. These brains have AI comparable sentience and must remain under constant stream of narcotics and other strong stress relieving drugs as they tend to commit suicide as soon as they become fully aware of their situation. What? What? Oh god. I don't want to go anywhere. I don't want to go anywhere at all. Where do we even go? Wait, our exit teleporters are right there? Are you kidding me? What? It's a secret area over here. I can't fit through. I can't fit through. Well, I almost did. Almost. Almost did. No, we're just gonna break it. Are you kidding? Don't trust anything. Is a taser and a battery? What? Whoa, a taser? <laughs> it doesn't have a description, it just says, mm, you know, it's a taser. <laughs> okay, I guess, taser. Can I tase? How far do you tase? Whoa! Whoa! Well. Alright, this has 30 bullets in it already. I should use that, by the way. Can I mix anything? Taser? And the microprocessing chip makes shock blade? What the hell is a shock blade? A sharpened slate of metal connected to electric generator that delivers deadly shocks with each strike yes how do i use it is it just going to be like a sharpened slate of metal connected to electric generator that delivers deadly shock with each strike. Like the strike of my knife, I'm assuming? Yeah? We're gonna use that machine gun right now. Alright, well, we'll figure that out. Like, now. <laughs> so, we'll see soon. Alright. Extreme caution is definitely advised here extreme i say okay okay what oh no 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 no, no, no. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck. <laughs> what? 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 No. No, they locked the door behind me. <laughs> I tried to react as fast as I could. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's insane. That's insane. 
Uh, live until you have no regrets. If you have any, live again. All right, we'll live again. We're gonna live again. Oh my god, I can't. I can't believe it. Hold on. I want. I need to see if I have like more information on these assholes. Yeah, there are more assholes that I unlocked here. And the giant zombie too. Alright, I want to read this information. M3 Large Mutant is just a fully grown version of the M1. The growing process transforms it from bug like into a humanoid form. The M3 has two legs and several arms that end in crooked claws. The final version of the creature was designed to be super poisonous and use ra ranged weapons. But unfortunately, both features were still in the middle of de de development when teleglitch happened and all research stopped. What about this giant zombie? No armor, wait, this guy has no armor either? Okay, good Good to know. These are not armored enemies, at least so far. The necrotic tissue activation technology was a huge success. The research done in our facility resulted in thousands of zombie soldiers and workers produced all over the universe. Having your, your relatives die became like a free pension. You would install a chip and the body of your dead father or mother would start working in a factory for you. So naturally, after experimenting with mass-produced cheap soldiers, the corporation wanted also something more advanced. We started to cut up the bodies and combine different body parts. The result was a standard body type for a heavy soldier. Some of them have equipped themselves with a bag full of fake metal grenades they used for training. Oh, so those things that they toss at me, they don't blow up. This guy is also not armored. Activate organics unit. This is a bio unit. This is actually a microchipped person. Like this, this is like some actual person, like not even plankton. Facility guard with extra tough bodies and advanced equipment. Microchipped and me mechanically augmented by facility AI. The red guards originally guarded more important parts of the facility, such as fusion reactors, weapon lockers, and databases containing business secrets. Now they're just well-armed maniacs. I agree. These many-legged bio-units are still experimental and haven't been trained to use ranged weapons yet. They were designed as another attempt to create super cheap soldiers that could be cloned by thousands. Oh, by the thousands. The M1 mutant was designed by mixing human DNA with genetic information from several lower life forms. During their early stage, they resemble huge crawling insects. Due to some neurological error, they are afraid of tunnels. Which, I think we read that one before. What about this one? Reactivator guys, you type 2 green zombies. Uh, green... Type green units are produced using cheaper material and do not carry any internal muscle augmentations. They are the economy version of the already cheap type 1 units and most often used as physical workers instead of soldiers. Poor, communi poor, communities, poor communities often buy such cheap units and later modify them by adding extra armor and sensory enhancements, which I disapprove of. And here's a facility guard. This guy is the red facility guard. And this is the regular guard, the red guard, and the regular guard. Oh, these are the facility guards who were unfortunate to be captured alive, alive by the facility AI. Microchipped and mechanically enhanced, they retain the flexes or reflexes and weapon expertise of live soldiers with the benefit of having no mental weaknesses of humans. I suspect they remain partially conscious because or conscious because of the terror that can be seen on their faces. There is no hope for them because the mechanical augmentation slowly kills their bodies and brains, eventually turning them into the reactivated battle zombies. That is fantastic. And what about these guys? The military corporations supplied non-humans combatants to many clients. One day, they needed the economy soldier. One that would be effective, but cost almost nothing to make. Soon, they started shipping us dead bodies from all over the world. All we needed to do was install microchips into their brains and inject some cheap chemicals to prevent them from rotting. This <laughs> is fucked up. <laughs> they all smelled of turpentine. I can never forget that smell. We never officially forbidden. We were officially forbidden to call them zombies. The correct term was reactivated organics. Interesting as hell. What else? What else? What else? Shock blade. Unfortunately. We don't know exactly what this was going to do for us. I don't know. Microchip plus taser gives us shock blade. I really like these uh, little recipe books. <laughs> Two microchips. One medkit 50. 
or two medkit 25s. Interesting. I need to keep that in mind. Like, for sure. Armor is just two plates. Um, there's so many other weapons. Probably like double shotgun. Things like that. Alright. Um, we have, well, I mean, guess what? We're gonna go from level 3B now? Which is technically 4? Or 3? Let's go to 3. Start at 3. Because I don't want to, like, be way too, like, underprepared for it. Okay, we're here. Chief Engineer, we need a squad of welders. Yeah, we've read that before. Oh, I, it, it comes with, like, a bunch of things. Oh. I didn't know that. You, you start with, like, the, I guess, like, minimum bare necessities? Okay. I can dig that. Interesting way to organize these. Shotgun on top, revolver, then 9mm pistol, then grenade launcher. Quite interesting. Yeah, I, I, I do want to make a nail gun. And I will make some nail ammo. And I will make a stronger explosive. Actually, nail gun two wouldn't be bad. Nah, it's gonna it's gonna eat through my nails so fast. Heavier explosive for sure. And we're gonna have the nail gun equipped. Let's let's put some nails in it. There we go. Let's let's not be stupid. Let's be super cautious. Did it take like? How many hits? One, two, three, four. That sucks. What is that? Heavy rifle. Oh, you are the greatest and the bestest for now. For now. Just now. Come on, bap, 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 Hmm. Hmm. Ah! Oh, oh no! Wait, am I stuck here? No. There we go. Okay. Get this. Oh god! Who are you in your cell? Stay in there! Don't come after me. Hmm. This guy was working on things. Look, he was like sitting on his chair, working on like blueprints of some sort. Engine external control room. Hmm. Oh. Uh oh. There's a switch there. Facility life support, all air and water is recycled. Yes, we've read that before. What? Another weapon? You gave me the machine gun? With all these bullets in it? Holy. Holy moly. Where are we? Okay. Continue on. Oh, uh, hey! Blip, 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 blip. I'm so tempted to press that. But maybe later. Can meet. What does this computer say to us? Hello? Delegate experiment number four. Molecule size was deemed perfect. Yep, so we, we, we've read that before as well. Oh! Looky, looky. Very many boxes in here. What about other things now? Done. Let's load that. Full clip. Hello? Somebody here. Ah! Oof. Oh 
Oh my god. Are you kidding me? I don't want to waste my shotgun. Shells. Okay. Can I squeeze through here and not have to, like, spend any of my ammunition? No. Um, alright. Okay. Ooh, shotgun shells, shotgun shells, shotgun shells, and me try it. Pretty happy, actually. Wait a second, excuse me? Sure. We'll see what's going on here. What is this place? Oh my god, there's a switch here too. Weird. Very, very strange. What is this area? Oh, wait. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Never mind. Um, do you think that left one over there, top left one, the red door, and this red door are going to connect? Because if that's the case, that would be awesome. Let's go find out. <laughs> I guess not. Um, nail ammo would be nice, I guess. Yeah. I uh, guess I should also upgrade to nail gun two, but I, I don't think I'm gonna nail gun. I don't think I'm gonna go nail gun three. Just two. Two is the max for me right now. Whew. All right. I mean, I don't mind going this way. Since we already started going this way, just continue. Just want to make sure that I don't have anything, anything here that's like being left behind. What if I do press this green button? I did. Oh! My goodness. Shit! 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 Shit, they have multiple attacks! Shit, they have multiple attacks! Oh, God, fucking get me out of here! No! Ah! Oh, I killed one of them. I killed one of them. I killed one of them. It's. I don't know what to do about those guys. They are incredibly powerful. I don't. I don't understand. Did I get them in here? I would love to have one. Oh, my God! They're called War Walkers. Like White Walkers. <laughs> they have medium armor. War Walkers are one of the most successful battle robots military corporation ever created. Their design proved to be so solid that they have been used with various equipment for more than 30 years. They are still used by many larger and older private armies, including those operated by China Incorporated. In the facility, they are mostly used as standard heavy opponents for training and testing newly developed combat robots. The standard attack protocol of War Warwalker is to use a heavy machine gun for ranged combat and ram and to ram opponents with their heavy steel bodies when in close proximity. And they murdered me. Very hard. <laughs> well guys, I think I should call it an episode here. Fortunately we made it to level five, right? We have both level threes as just, just checkpoints now available to us that so we can continue from there. As you can tell, this game's nuts. This game is crazy and is pretty difficult. So we're gonna try again next time and we're gonna start from the same level. We're gonna start from three like regular level three and then see where we can go from there. But for now, thank you so much for your time and attention. If you liked the video, leave a like on it, subscribe to my channel for more in the future. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.